Hello and welcome back to the Fallen Giant series. Uh, oh look, oh, my wall's gone. Yeah, I treated myself to a green screen. Um, right now we're over that moment of excitement. I played one match off camera against Coventry so we could play the cup game and the Tramia match today. I've looked at the club's history and apparently Tramia are a rival so I thought let's, uh, let's show that. We drew one all. Uh, yeah, we it was a bit of a nothing game. We we went in front, but we weren't tremendously better than them. Uh, I, I think we probably deserved to win it overall, but the draw was probably fair. I'm looking at the league table thinking, do you know what? If it weren't for this uh, minus eight, we'd be round about eighth place. So, taking into account that we did start off bad, I think we've had a... Well, we didn't really start off bad. We started off well. We were just in a bad position when we took over. Uh, we can... Um, I've, I've, got, I've got confidence we can do this. We've got two players here who are performing well. Luke Murphy's got player of the matches and Olmix on the clean sheets. 50% uh, now. One out of two games. We're, we're halfway there. <laughs> so today we're going to play the Accrington game who are... Struggling, I want to say. They've only played one match though. It looks like they've got MK Dons coming up. Um, although that does say AFC Wimbledon on the 17th but we've got Accrington today then we're going to play the Tramia game and just to show you I weren't being a moron other rivals Tramia it's an historic rival I mean it's probably before my time because I've got no idea I don't know if it's a local thing or what God, my geography is not fantastic with that area so if Bolton and Tramia are nearby or what but who cares? So we're going to go into the cup. I, I think a little mini cup run might be good. Obviously, it'll help us with money. The EFL Cup's not fantastic for prize money. FA Cup's better, but uh, when you're um, bottom of League 1 with minus 8 points and your club is in financial difficulty, let's say, with a transfer budget of zero and a balance of only 600,000, um, and my wage budget is too high, which I need to get down. Uh, I'll take any amount of money I could get. Why is my view changed? Uh, import. There we go. Thinking you. Yeah. How weird. So, uh, eight grand a week Jason Law's on, and nine grand a week Luke Murphy's on. I may have to look at moving a couple of guys on, even though they are regulars and our quality players but they're just miles ahead than everybody else I have done a little bit of transfer dealings so we have brought in Carl Madienga as backup at defensive midfield he's not unbelievable but he's got three star and he is as good as Murphy and better than Lowe so I think uh, he's he's going to be good to cover, and I've all and he's only twenty five, which isn't too bad, and he was free. I've also brought in Tashan Oakley Booth on loan from Tottenham as a central midfield cover. He can play the advanced playmaker role, um, which is quite handy because, as you saw from the last episode, I didn't really have any cover. Uh, he's actually better than what I've got, so he might get, I might actually start him in Cup today, see how he gets on, assuming that his loan deal allows it. Shall we have a, a goosey at that? Uh, but, but, no, he, oh, he can play in Cup matches. So, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll give him a run out today, see how he performs. Especially considering... How, well, we need to, obviously, replace Buckley. So, let's, uh, let's go into the... Oh, no. Team selection... So, where can I put Oakley Booth? He can play the advanced playmaker role that Murphy's in. The thing is, Murphy's on fire a minute, and I don't know if I want to really drop him. Bridcut's playing well as well. Because, I mean, M Murphy could drop into that DM role. Uh, I could always put Oakley Booth in the place of Low, whose average rating is low. I want to give Brockbank a run out because he's a good youngster, only 20 years old, and he's got five star potential, and he's got some good numbers. 
So let's give him a run out. Uh, who else can we play? Um, Dodu, perhaps. Who can, who's going to replace Booklet? Yeah, Dodu can go there. And I think Johan Zuma's wanted by Rexham on lot. So, I mean, Chris O'Grady's not had a game yet. Sod it. I mean, I know we are playing a team in the same level, the same league as us, but a bit of squad rotation goes a long way. I do need a striker on the bench, though. Have I got my one? Oh, I don't need my one homegrown player for this competition. Squad number to Oakley Booth, and we shall see if we can put up together a little bit of a cup run. The money would be um, very, very useful. Let's encourage the players and kick off. Why has everything changed to the latest event updates? I'm going to have to fix that again. So Accrington immediately, bad throw, and we're on the attack. That's Dodu to Luke Murphy, and he's pretty over. Can I set up my screen now? Because this is not how I add it. I add match stats there. I add um, the mini overall view there. Like, I hit league table here, but it's not a league game. I don't know why these screens reset themselves. It's frustrating. Let's check some of the throw. Looks like football managers fixed the throw-ins because you never got them to your own players. It passed. O'Grady with the ball across to Emmanuel. Back in. O'Grady with the header. And he scored. Brought him into the team, he's not played a game yet, he scored on his debut against Accrington inside 10 minutes. It's a great start for us. It was a good ball, I mean, O'Grady actually started this himself, knocking it out wide to Emmanuel, moving into the space, and then Emmanuel found him with the cross, and he had it into the back of the net quite easily. Chickson now with a throw again. Can he... Uh, He's thrown it to one of our players, but Bridcut's lost it, and now Accrington are on quite a swift counter-attack. Um, Richardson's through one-on-one -on -one with Olmwick, who plays a good save, and it's out for a corner. They broke on us really quickly there. Accrington with a corner, and it's headed by Broadbank. Not very clear, though. Let's try it again, and they've blocked again. Some... Uh, Desperate defending, I think I would say there. And now we're pushing them back. That's what we need to do, get them back into their own half. Tries to play the ball over the top, and it's come to nothing, because the highlights ended. Can't see Barnsley on that list. I will obviously keep out for Barnsley's scores. I don't know why they're not in the first round of the EFL uh, Cup. Full in with a corner. Dodu with a header, it's just over. We're playing well. Six shots, two on target. Possession's higher. Playing well. This would actually... Three games unbeaten. It's um, giving me some good confidence going into this. If we can survive this season... And uh, push on next year, I think that'd be uh, the plan. Try and finish as high as possible this year, I think, is just the plan. If I can get mid-table, I'll be over moon. Especially if I'm starting on minus 12. Josh Emanuel's looking a bit tired, I might have to bring him off. Olmwick with a fantastic kick forward to Lip Pavillinden, who's, I think McConville's getting sent off. It's a red, they're down to 10 men. Right, let's push on Bolton. Let's get through this now. They're down to 10 men. Coming up to that magical 70th minute, I think Emmanuel's going to have to come off because he's booked and tired. Uh, I don't have another right back. James Weir is offering to play there so he can go in. Um, that let O'Grady see the game out. He's playing quite well. Brig cut. I'll drop Murphy back and then bring Ali Crawford on. And then we'll save the other substitution for a bit later. I don't want to make all three at once. Although it's been a quiet second half since that red card. Nothing happening. There we go. Let's Chickson with the throw again. Or Grady back to Chickson. Uh, his cross is blocked and Accrington can bring it clear. Oh, Hobbs has missed it and Simpson's through. Oh, God, thank God he can't hit the target. 
That would have been terrible. Letting 10 man Accrington equalise. We're getting a lot of throw ins. And we are making it them count, actually. We're getting them to his own men. Murphy with the ball into the box, but it can't find one of our men. Crawford to Verlinden, and it's a good save from Eftimov. There's not a massive crowd here at um, the Macron. Is it still the Macron Stadium? It used to be Macron. It used to be Reebok many years ago. Uh, O'Grady's can't get onto the end of the corner. It's been headed clear only as far as Murphy. Who's wayward pass to Oakley Booth? I think that was a tactical foul. He had to do that because Eckrington were going to break clear there. It was just a poor ball, I think. And we're just basically seeing time out. We're into Dodu. Oh, 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 no, he's offside. Never mind. I thought we were just going to finish it off. But it's full time. 1 0 win in the cup. We're getting a replay of a goal that was offside after the final whistle. Blackpool and Preston went to penalties. Jeez Christ. What's that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 11, 10 on penalties. Well, no. 11 penalties, but it weren't 11, 10, were it? Or they scored 8. 8, 7 on penalties. Coventry and Colchester went to penalties. They look like they're still playing. Oh, there we go. That's finished. Coventry through. Blackburn clearly not very good at penalties. Gillingham beat Bristol Rovers. Some good scores here. So, why am I telling him it's disappointing? I'm not going to upset him. Well done, it was a good win. How's it disappointing? We we are at this level now. <laughs> this is us. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we're disappointing. We, drew to, we only beat Akron 1 0. Grady scores on Bolton debut. Right, uh, I'm happy with that. Moving, we've got Tramia on Saturday, so we'll move on to that match and um, see if we can beat our historic rivals. Right, we're back for the Tramia game. Uh, the next round of the cup was drawn and we've been drawn against Fleetwood, which isn't such a bad game, I would say. Uh, we're at home again, so that's, that's an advantage. I did notice Barnsley played Morecambe the day after, and let me just have a look, I didn't actually catch the result. Um, let's go to the first round, Barnsley played Morecambe, why aren't you in alphabetical order? Oh, they won 3-0, that's uh, handy, I've just clicked on that and scared my game. I don't want to match with but I just wanted to see the score. Patrick Schmidt got two, that's um, different. Uh, I did also realise that one of the players I could have given a run out in that cup game was Madianga, and I didn't play him. <laughs> it would have been good to get him some uh, match fitness, but never mind. I forgot all about the poor guy. So, I uh, think... Oakley Booth, I think... Law's... Oakley Booth played better than Law, to be fair. So, Law can stay on... Law can go on the bench. Stay on the bench. He's not even on the bench. Uh, drop him for Weir. Um, Adianga. He's better suited. To, he's, he's equal to Bridcut, so I'm going to give him a, a chance. Maybe want to put a DM on the bench, though. So I think uh, Bridcut can go on the bench. I mean, Madianga's ours, Bridcut's on loan. I have said previously that. I do prefer my own players over Lonnie's, but he's much sharp. He's got a high risk of injury. Maybe maybe I'll just bring him on. And Daryl Murphy's backing up front. Um, Will Buckley can play 75 minutes so he can go in. I can bring Dodu on. Brockbank got a 6.9. Which is higher than right, so I'll give Brock Bank another game. We are away to historic rivals. If anybody can tell me what this historic rivalry is between Bolton and Tramia, please do. Uh, tell the team to do this for our fans. Because it's a rivalry, apparently. Right, we can put League Table back in here now. Because we can see that we're still rock bottom. <laughs> 
The game started off quiet, uh, four minutes in without an highlight. Murphy's had a go, but apparently didn't deserve a highlight. Peterborough down there, that's quite a shock. Ipswich struggling and Rotherham. I know we're only three games in, right, but I don't expect to see them guys down there. Tranmere are just outside the playoffs. This has been dull. <laughs> really, really dull. <laughs> First I like, and Tranmere just put the ball over. Bah. We've had eight shots. What can I say? That's probably the worst first half of football I've ever seen. And I'm a Barnsley fan. I see a lot of bad football. Um, give the fans something to cheer about. I want to be encouraging, really. Uh, I can't really say anything because we just didn't see anything, did we? I can't make a team talk based on highlights that I never saw. And the second half looks like it's much the same. Wow. This is poor. This is poor. Uh, right. So, I'm going to give Madianga 20 minutes, see if we can get that match sharpness up. I'm going to give... No, it's Dodu I need to bring on for Buckley. Is it... He were allowed 75 minutes, bringing him on after seven, uh, off for 70 is not too bad. Uh, see if we can get something from our first highlight. Murphy gets the throw, manual across the box, and it's headed out as far as for Linden. Oakley Booth from distance! Oh, 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 what a goal! First highlight, and we've scored. And it's Oakley Booth's first goal for Bolton in his second match. What a signing. That were an absolutely fantastic finish. Let's watch the pass from Valinden and he hits it first time. Bottom corner. Fantastic finish from the youngster. I'm hoping these are going to turn out to be a good loan signing. Let's not let him go and equalise straight away. Hobbs, that's a poor header. Easy save for Onwick in the end, though. Well, it's a poor defensive header, that. Right, going into the last 10 minutes. Um, Valinden can't come off because I can't replace him. Yep. I'll bring O'Grady on for the last 10 minutes. Darrell Murphy's not really done much. We're very, very close to dropping, getting to zero here. And we're unbeaten so far this season. It's going well. I'm enjoying this. It's good. Something a bit different. 1-0. Not the most... Um, Historic game of football, but uh, we did well. We've beaten our historic rivals and uh, We got through to the next round of the AFL Cup, so I can't really complain. It's been a decent episode uh, Vintage display. I won't call it vintage. I will call it poor. I mean Much report stats. I mean we did really really outplay them, but highlights wise it were pretty poor Ball winning midfielder Tasha on Oakley Booth gave Bolton the lead with a placed shot from 26 metres. Who matches? Who, does anybody imagine in metres? What's that in feet and inch? Oh dear. Madianga makes his debut. Came on in the 75th minute. Uh, 71st minute, sorry. My eyes reading. And Oakley Booth shines. I am going to praise you. I believe your passing was a joy to be old, but you quality of chances he's watch out for this guy Tottenham fans I've, I've got a f good feeling about this one right uh, Doncaster next and then Ipswich so I mean I mean I'm enjoying this um rather than skipping too many games I think um, next episode we'll come back for both the Donny and the Ipswich games Donny a second they're flying high Ipswich a mid-table both good sides, so while while we're cracking on, let's um let's keep going for it for a bit. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm enjoying playing this. Um so I hope you've enjoyed watching. If you have, please do leave a like down below. 
If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And uh, if you know anyone else that likes a bit of FM20 content or any Bolton Wanderers fans that might want to see me turn the fortunes, then uh, please do pass on my name. And uh, I'll catch you in the next episode. <laughs>